Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I can definitely tell it's springtime because my allergies have kicked in, so I apologize to you if it sounds just a little bit funny. Today, I'm going to share with you a tip, which I think you're going to really like, especially if you work with other people's drawings, and I think that pretty much qualifies most of us. Let's say you need to go into somebody else's drawing and just add in a couple more dimensions. Well. I'm not exactly sure what dimension style they used here, and even though that's pretty easy to figure out, maybe they added overrides. Who knows what goes on behind the scenes, right? People don't always follow standards. Well, using my tool palette, I'm going to show you how easy it is to recreate an existing dimension complete with all of its settings. So I'm going to do a control three. That's going to put my tool palette on the screen. Hopefully you guys use your tool palettes. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select any one of these dimensions and using my right mouse button, I'm going to drag and drop this right onto the palette. That was pretty easy, right? Well, let's try it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this tool from the tool palette. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say I just want to dimension this area right here. And you'll see, sure enough, it figured out all the settings that this dimension had and duplica duplicated it, which made my life really, really easy. And you're not, you're not limited to just linear dimensions here. If I hit this arrow here, you'll see that I have an opportunity to do all types of dimensions using the same settings. So maybe I want to try, for example, an align dimension. I can come in here and, and very easily do a quick little align dimensioning. And once again, you'll see that it follows the same settings. looks exactly like these dimensions up here. Now, if you think you're going to be using this type of dimension over and over again, you might want to give it a name that makes a little bit more sense. You can do a right click on any one of these tools and rename it. Maybe Maybe using the name of the company that sent you this drawing or, or whatever the scenario is. I'm just going to, just for fun, I'm going to call it Disney. And then I would know that anytime Disney, Disney sent me some drawings that this particular dimension style would work appropriately for me. So that's a pretty easy tip. I think that's something you can use right away. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you saved some time using it. And I am going to see you in two more Tuesdays, hopefully without the allergies. <laughs>